I'm Dan Marshall. I'm here in front of my studio in Denver, Colorado, and I would like to give you a tour of the uh, Aficionado Cigar Box Pashad Kit. And although the style of boxes may change, some of the features will remain the same. Um, they've got tension hinges, so any angle that you open it to, it's, it's pretty stiff, but any angle you open it to, it'll sort of support that working angle. And it does go so almost flat. Um, on the interior, there will be a magnet with a, uh, a rinse cup, uh, a, a clip to put your pencils or brushes in, and some of the models have a fixed palette and some have a removable palette. Uh, but the interior has all been um, sort of fully uh, siliconed. Uh, the box has been fully polyurethaned, so it should stay pretty resistant to moisture. I don't recommend dumping a cup of water inside, though. If you do, make sure you get that water out of there quickly. Um, there's also uh, all the bottles have a T-nut to mount to any tripod. So I've got a super lightweight um, ball head tripod here and you'll just take that plate off and screw it into the bottom. And once you're screwed in, you're ready to mount on your tripod. And this one will just slide in here. Okay, and then you're all set up and ready to go. Um, like I said, when I sketch, I usually keep it a little more vertical, um, but you can totally angle it. With the ball head tripod, you can then angle your truck, your uh, box down if you want. Not too much where you'll sort of spill your water out, but you can put a little bit of a slight angle to it to make working easier. And if you want to work flat, you can kind of do that too, and then just sort of work to where you're you know, working more at a flat kind of angle there. If you'd like the hinges to be a little tighter, it's just an easy adjustment with a screwdriver. There's a, a black screw on the back. You just turn that and give it like a quarter turn. And that'll make that, uh, it'll make that lid support a little bit more if you're finding it kind of uh, tipping over. Now, as far as what you want to work with, basically these were designed as sketch boxes. They're, they're not really for full-size paintings. Um, I usually, the 9 by 12 is usually the largest I'll work with that, just because of the way the palette is. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want, of course. Uh, but they're really designed more for smaller sketches, smaller studies. Um, and they're so lightweight, you could take it with you anywhere. I think it, it comes in at like 1.7 ounces as far as the uh, weight without having anything in it. But I'll just show you a couple different uh, things that you can do. So I like to work on a uh, moleskin watercolor sketchbook. Um, and this, I'll just kind of set it in there. And then when I'm working, it's just right here. My palette's here. Easy to, easy to go. And I just have a couple clips on it. But really, I just kind of put it in there. And it just stays there. If you want, you can put a larger clip and kind of clip it on this side also. But I usually just kind of set it in there, do my sketch, and I'm, I'm happy. Uh, if you want to use a regular sketchbook, um, this will, uh, well, different boxes, there's different sizes, but you, you know, you could sort of figure out that size and get a sketchbook that correlates to it. This one uh, holds about a six by nine. Um, this pad is five and a half by eight and a half, and it actually just sits right in there. Um, but I also, I wouldn't use anything that's too thick or too heavy, because um, that, that will add to the, the weight that the lid is trying to support. Um, but you could easily just, pop that in there. Um, it won't close with that. It, you know, it won't close fully with the pad in there, but it, you know, you can kind of support it right in there. Um, so that's one thing you can do. You can look for a watercolor block that's about the same size. Um, this is a 7x10 Hannah Mule watercolor block, and this is nice. It's, uh, it's, it's not too thick, it, so it, it, it doesn't weigh very much. So I could just pop that in there. And it's really just resting on either the, the hinges or where this uh, lip is here, but it just kind of holds it in there nicely. You can work more vertical, more flat. It's, it's all uh, what your preference is. Um, more often than not, I like to work on watercolor sheets. They're taped to a board. So I just use a lightweight board and uh, take my paper down. And that just gives me a really nice little support there. I can do 
if I'm doing more of a finished sketch or finished painting, um, I'll do that on the on proper watercolor paper. Uh, and um, this is an eight by ten, but um, this is a uh, Canson watercolor panel. Um, but that's also really easy. It just just sits in there. If you wanted to clip it, you could. Um, but again, if you want to work flat, you want to work at an angle. Um, I usually end up working somewhere around this angle, uh, and that gives me nice, my washes will run down, and um, it's just that's the way that I like to work. Um, another great thing I love about my Fishinado sketch box is I can sit down and use it also without a tripod. When I'm doing full-size paintings, I really like to stand up, but if I'm working 8x10, 6x9, sitting down is, is kind of nice sometimes. And I'll just cross my legs, put it on my lap, and uh, just kind of hold it here. I've got my panel with my watercolor paper taped to it. And I'll just put it in there and I um, can just sit, relax, and do a nice sketch while I'm at a cafe or sitting or whatever. Of course, you could use it on a tabletop, but um, you know, if I'm out hiking and I want to sit on a rock or something, um, it makes it really convenient just to be able to sit down and, and do a nice sketch while I'm relaxing, enjoying the scene, the scenery. Um, and then it's just all contained right here in my lap. Okay. I hope you enjoy your new box, or if you haven't ordered one, um, uh, they'll be available from time to time on the website. Um, but it just, with the speed mount, it just slides right off. I keep the, tr the uh, tripod mount on there, so it's always ready to go. I usually just keep it in my backpack or in my car. And, um, you know, if I don't want to carry all my gear or set up to do a full painting, this is a great way to uh, be able to capture that sketch without having to have a lot of equipment. Okay. Thanks.